Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Dan Deacon. Thanks for uh, coming here early. It's a real uh, pleasure to be sharing the stage with some of my all-time favorites, Gmail and uh, Google Calendar. So, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna play some songs, and a lot of the content's gonna be made using uh, Finaki and Bard and Musical M. And so. I'm just going to get started. Uh, this first one is a song of mine called When I Was Done Dying, and the video was generated using the lyrics uh, to this song. So thanks so much. Check, 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 check. When I was done dying, my conscience regained, so I began my struggles. But nothing is strained out, a flash made of time, my new form blasted out. And it startled me so when I burst out a shout. My legs ran frantic like birds from a nest, and I ran on till drain, leaving no choice but rest. So I fell asleep softly at the edge of a cave, but I should have gone deeper, but I'm not so brain and like crows torn out, thrown in the sky, and they're my way bearing as surely I die as I'm crossed out and smashed into a thin to dirt. How my skin did explode, leaving only my shirt. And that tree grew all fruit Became a seed And that seed was a fruit And I crawled through the ground With my roots and my leaves Tore the shirt And I ate up the sleeves And they laughed out at me And said, what is your plan? But their question was for And I could not understand And then suddenly I was ripped up Placed in a mouth Swallowed me down At which time I had salvage Thank you very much. Whew. All right, now that all the mosh pits have subsided, we can return to our seats. Let's get centered and, and where we are in the present, in the now. And I don't do we've got a lot of shows like this. Normally they're uh, at, at night, in the dark, in unseated rooms. So I thought maybe we could all just try to do a guided visualization so we can all get on the same place. I'm sure a lot of you traveled here today. So let's just fully relax our shoulders, feel our bodies in the seats, our feet on the floor. I used BARD and I was like, how can I structure a guided visualization for this event? They gave me some suggestions. So let's envision now that we're slowly, 
slowly lifting up from our seats, floating into the air. And let's imagine the air is not really cold. Let's imagine the air is a wonderful, wonderful temperature. We're floating here above the Shoreline Amphitheater. We see everyone else below. They're floating up with us. We're becoming mist, vapor. And there, we see a beautiful, beautiful entity come towards us. And what is it? It's a bird, a bird with lips. Don't pay too much attention to the lips, but the bird has lips. And the bird says to you, hey, I just got a two bedroom apartment. I'm looking for a roommate. And you think, wow, I never thought about relocating, but what neighborhood is it in? And the bird says, it's in this neighborhood that you've always wanted to live in. You say, that sounds great. Do you live with anybody else? They're like, no, but I have a lot of friends over. We play board games. Do you like board games? And you're like, yes, I do love playing board games. I have friends over. We play board games. They're like, great, maybe my friends can become your friends and we'll start a whole community. And the bird's like, great. The only thing is it's kind of a small kitchen, so I don't like that many kitchen appliances. And you're like, that's wonderful. I normally eat out, but I'm trying to cook more at home. They're like, that's wonderful. We can make meals together. So now that we're all on the same page, we're re-centered here. Um, let's just think of how beautiful the world would be if there was a bird with lips that invited us to live with them and we could make wonderful, wonderful meals together. And that's sort of where this whole process has felt like. It's felt like being a bird with lips and finding a new roommate and making work with them. So if that makes any sense, I'll explain more. Uh, as a composer, it's always interested me in that composing music is an endless evolving system of finding ways of communicating ideas about how to make sounds. Music has always been expanding with ways to share ideas and about how to make sounds while exploring what sounds are available to us that can be called music. Another thing that fascinates me as a composer is that throughout music's history, advancements in technology have always led to and coincided with advancements in musical thinking. New tools lead to new instruments, which lead to new musics, which leads to new boundaries to break, which leads to a restart for new tools. At one point in time, the trombone was a reflection of cutting edge musical technology. And like many technologies, when the first trombones entered the scene, they were viewed as highly controversial pieces of music tech. The same could be said for player pianos, synthesizers, synchronizing sound with film, home recording studios, and MIDI. I love all these things. And when I started getting into making computer music as a teenage nerd on my family computer, all of those tools were readily established and antiquated but they were there for people to make music with. And ever since those early days of me playing with toy keyboards and primitive MIDI software, I've been trying to explore new ways of making new sounds. So when Google invited me to come meet with some of their AI researchers and talk about what they've been working on, I was pretty ecstatic to get the chance to be one of the first people to use these tools and see how they're being shaped and to meet with them and get a chance to make new music with them. Last month, I was pretty lucky to spend a few days with the researchers at Music LM, Finaki, and Bard. They showed me the tools that they've been making and explained the concepts behind how they worked and allowed me to experiment with making sounds, music, and visuals with them. It felt a lot like uh, those early days of sitting in front of a computer and having no idea what I'm doing or taking out a Casio keyboard and hitting buttons and see what happens. I had no idea what happened and that was sort of the fun part, just mashing it and seeing what it is and making something new with it. It reminded me a lot of being a child again. So you'd hear that drum beat, and that would start, and the auto chords would start, and the outputs from AI felt the same way. They would spark new ideas, they created building box to make new songs with. So the music that accompanied our uh, guided visualization about uh, becoming roommates with a duck with lips, that was generated using the text prompt and text to music using sad, moody, new age music, simple piano, and synthesizer. Once we found an output that we liked, we started experimenting with it and processing it with SingSong to create new variations to accompany the text and music outputs. We fed those results into themselves countless times, making dozens of iterations to explore, and the results were the song you heard again while I was rambling on about the bird with lips. Uh, the text and music model output is available as part of the AI test kitchen. You can sign up for the waitlist now. Uh, we also made a new track that uh, we're about to play uh, using a single word prompt, chiptune. Uh, the name of the band is Chiptune, and our album is Chiptune. And um, if you'd like to also join the band, you're welcome to join the band. This is our first show. We're all members of the band, so thanks for joining the band. You can also quit the band at any time. And uh, let's see how it goes. So we put the word Chiptune in, and this is the output that we got. 
and we realized we needed another section of the song. So we fit it back into itself. And that gave us this B section. We knew it needed to be a full song. It couldn't just be these two rips. But as you know, every song needs a chorus. So we made it the, the opening part our refrain. And here we are back at it. And we're like, all right, well, it's a chiptune song. So like maybe we should add some sort of uh, adventure theme. So we're like, all right, well, now we know what's got to come up after this. And what came after this? It was the breakdown. Because every song needs a breakdown. And we're like, all right, we're going to be at the shoreline. People are going to be going nuts in their seats. There's going to be mosh pits everywhere, crowd surfers, so when the breakdown's done, it's just going to be, we need this part, the full-on release. So this part came as kind of an unexpected little gift. We didn't really know that we'd be getting it. And that was the fun part of this discovery, being like what we would put in would be like finding a, a new sound that we didn't even expect to create. But then of course, we go back to our beautiful refrain, which we fell in love with at the beginning. Thank you very much. That was our first show for our band, Chiptune. Some of the other band members are, are here in the audience, and um, uh, some of our band members don't exist in the physical realm. I've never been in a band where the band members aren't uh, physical entities. So, um, all right. Now that we've, uh, we've been basking in the Chiptune, let's, let's return to our, our guided meditation. We've got a long day of, of Google ahead of us. And now let's place ourselves in a beautiful woods where the, our roommate's house is. We're wandering through the woods. We're coming back from a long day and we're thinking about all of the, the Google jokes that we could make and you're excited to tell your roommate the joke that you came up with and you're like, and then they appear. And you're like, hey, duck with lips. I'm doing this event for Google and I'm thinking about using this joke. Uh, and the duck's like, what is it? And you just get mesmerized by the feathers. You're pulled deeper and deeper into this ethereal realm of pure feathers. And the duck says, hey, I'm sorry, but I finished the oat milk. And you're like, oh, I was really looking forward to having that with my cereal. Like, that's okay. I'll go out and get more. And you're like, no, that's fine. I have this joke I want to tell you. And they're like, it's this more serious matter. It's more that I know you've been making oat milk at home. And we talk specifically about not having so many kitchen appliances. It's a small kitchen. But... That contractor we wanted has the waiting list open and I think we can expand the kitchen. And your heart just fills with pure love of the idea of blowing out the kitchen, adding more walls, adding more cabinetry. So you can make almond milk at home, oat milk at home, maybe even build a little stable so you can have other sort of mammalian milks. And the bird is like, this is the best romantic relationship I've ever had. And you're like, this is wonderful bird with lips. Thank you so much. And then you go back to the house and you're trying so deeply to remember the joke that you were going to make. And then you remember, in the streets, it's Google Maps. And in the sheets, it's Google Sheets. And the duck's like, I think if you delivered it earlier, it might have landed a little better. Why don't we just go relax back in our home, drift away into the ether, and then tomorrow, we'll find a new way to find that joke into our every, everyday life. And you just wish so badly that the duck with lips was real. So if we could all now just collectively with all of our ability and all of our might, try to manifest a duck with lips. And if we think hard enough, perhaps we can put this creature into reality and we can share this utopian life with this beautiful roommate, the duck with lips. So this will be my last song. Um, and then I'm, I'm gonna do like a five hour set later, so don't worry. Um, uh, this song is called Change Your Life, and it seemed like a good thing to do right before this uh, talk where I think uh, all of our lives are gonna drastically change. And um, thanks so much. And again, my name is Dan Deacon. And again, these visuals were generated using Finaki. 
Tonight's the night you're gonna change your life. 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 Your life, your life, your life, your life, your life, your life, your life. Tonight, 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 you're gonna change your life. You're gonna change your life. Tonight, tonight, you're gonna change your life. Tonight, tonight, you're gonna change your life.